What's going on guys? T-Mart here and today we're going to be talking about the game modes of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. So uh, there are actually two brand new never before seen game modes that have been announced but not many people are talking about because it was kind of a soft announcement. Like they, they kind of showed a little bit in trailers and showed a little bit in press releases and stuff like that but they never really pushed it out to the public so nobody's talking about it. So I want to talk about that with you guys because they both sound kind of interesting to me and uh, then also we can kind of talk about all the game modes in kind of a, a general fashion fashion so you guys can see right here this is the game mode selection screen for infinite warfare at least the one we've seen up until this point now obviously this can change they can add in game modes they can remove game modes all kinds of stuff like that but it's very likely that this is going to be pretty similar to what we see on launch day and you guys can see it looks like the game modes are split up into two different sections. There's your standard modes, and then you have your alternate modes. And so we haven't seen this alternate mode screen yet, but I'm assuming it's going to be stuff like hardcore, and then party fun game modes. Things like one in the chamber, things like infected and stuff like that. And I'm sure we're going to have a lot more than that. I mean, Infinity Ward has always kind of been on top of their game when it comes to that. I think more than any other studio, like adding in new game modes post-launch, community-driven game modes, things like the face-off 2v2 and 3v3s, all sorts of different stuff they're good at doing. So I'm sure that alternate modes tab is going to be off the charts. But uh, let's talk about standard modes because that's what we can actually see. So you guys can see under standard modes, there are a lot of familiar faces here. We've got TDM, Domination, Search and Destroy, Kill Confirm, Free For All, Hardpoint, Uplink, Demolition, Capture the Flag, Search and Rescue. Every single one of those game modes has been in Call of Duty for a fairly long time, some longer than others, but they're all very much kind of staples of Call of Duty multiplayer. So we're gonna feel right at home with that stuff. But there are two game modes on that list that I didn't mention, I skipped over. One is Frontline, and the second one is Defender. So these are the two brand new game modes we've never before seen in Call of Duty that have been announced, but nobody's talking about. We're gonna talk about these today. So for Defender, unfortunately, I don't have any sort of proof to give you guys. I don't have any screenshots, any pictures, anything like that, because it was told to me at a press briefing at Call of Duty XP. I wish I could show you guys something, but uh, you're just gonna have to take my word for it. What Defender is, is an objective game mode based on a drone. So it's a, a drone kind of like the drone in Up. Link. It's essentially like a ball and it's a game of keep away So you want to collect that drone and then keep it away from the enemies and you get points for the amount of time that you're able to hold on to it Now I'm sure those guys who have played Halo, you know what this sounds like It sounds like oddball, which was a really really fun game mode in Halo I remember watching the pros play Halo 3 oddball on Guardian It was absolutely insane such a fun game mode lots of different Situations where you've got to throw the ball down to be able to get your gun up to be able to shoot enemies pass it to teammates all kinds of stuff like that it sounds like it's going to be really, really intense, and it sounds like it could maybe even be a competitive game mode. We'll have to wait and see what happens with that, but honestly, I'm really excited to check that thing out. Now, next up, let's talk about Frontline. Luckily, we can actually grab a screenshot from one of the trailers they put out for Infinite Warfare for literally like a half second. It shows us what Frontline is, and that's this screenshot right here. You guys can see the game mode name didn't even fully load yet, but you can see it's highlighted over on the list, and it says, kill players on the opposing team. You always spawn back at your base. The first team to reach the score limit wins. What in the heck is going on here? So essentially this sounds like it's a TDM with fixed spawns. You're going to be fighting over the middle of the map the entire time. There is no spawn flipping. There is no flanking around and pushing out people's spawn and you know, stuff like that. You're always going to be spawning in one area and you're going to be pushing forward. This sounds like World War II or something like that, like trench warfare. That's exactly what it was. People sat in trenches in their spawn, quote unquote, and uh, they would run across no man's land to try to get to the enemies to be able to take them out and take their spawn. So I don't know, this sounds kind of interesting. It's, it, it's almost kind of like war from Call of Duty World at War, but not really. I don't know, it's, just, it's, it's, it's kind of a different game mode that I'm not sure what to make of, and it sounds like the only objective is to take out enemies. So it sounds like something that there could be a lot of spawn trapping going on, and uh, I don't know, we'll have to wait and see how it works out, but uh, it's something different that we definitely haven't seen before. So uh, yeah, those are the two new game modes in the game. Defender, which is essentially like Oddball. Frontline, which is essentially like World War II, I don't know. <laughs> I guess they heard our, our cry for boots on the ground and they gave us a literal boots on the ground 
game mode where it's all about fighting in trench warfare. Kind of interesting stuff. But uh, yeah, there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. What game mode would you guys like to see return in Infinite Warfare in terms of the party game modes, the alternate game modes? Do you want to see um, one in the chamber come back? Do you want to see Sticks and Stones come back? Do you want to see anything from the old Infinity Ward games like All or Nothing, Money in the Dank, stuff like that? Leave comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace out.